Okay, there you go. You don't need help, I know that. Red Wigglers. PAL is a, uh, is a crime prevention organization. Worm won't get you. It's actually a corporation, a nonprofit corporation. Does that one feel yeah. better? It is allied with the police department. He's tightening this for you. We do function with a board of directors who oversee the operations. Yeah. Does that one feel yeah. better? Uh, we carry out that mission by running various organized structured programs that kids in the community can participate in. Those programs run the gamut uh, between athletic type programs such as our boxing and karate, wrestling, Don't golf, tennis, to um, leadership type programs such as uh, the youth directors program. Also the police explorers now are part of PAL, you you which again is a leadership program and designed to expose kids to the law enforcement profession. We have kids who come into our programs of, of all types, certainly of all ages. Our, our general mandated age range is 8 to 18. Uh, some programs um, deviate a little bit on the lower end. We have, like T-ball, can be as, as young as 3 to 5, um, but normally it's a little bit older. We're together on this one. <laughs> kids come in, some have uh, are just uh, your average children. Um, they're looking for a good program. They like what we do. They want to be involved. Other kids have come in um, through diversion programs, uh, had a little contact with the juvenile justice uh, system. What they gain from a structured program is just that structure. Right arm forward, left arm back. So when they come in and they participate in a program that has standards and expectations, and typically rewards for fulfilling those two things. Yeah. They understand how positive behavior can benefit them, and they understand that they can gain some discipline, they can gain some self-esteem, and I think ultimately that helps them as they move on and helps them to function in society. Somebody run back and get a couple more bags. Nah, or just in case. What we ask of you uh, to be able to participate is that you stay away from the negative influences in, in life. Things like alcohol and substance abuse, um, gang activity and violence, um, certainly any criminal activity. And we also typically will explain to them, okay, now that you're involved in this PAL program, you not only represent yourself and your family, but you represent, by extension, part of the police department. And that will hold the wires in place. And when they see that an adult actually cares for them and is willing to work with them and, and especially donate their time, it's, it's, it's really effective. Super Blast sounds like it's going to go far. To carry out our mission, the vast majority of what's done for PAL is done by volunteers. Oh, yeah. Some of them are officers. Look what comes my way when I... And some of them are civilians from the community. Okay, switch in like you know each other. The reward is, you know, just working with these kids and seeing a positive effect. All right, you're good to go, bud. I would encourage people to check us out, know that we're here. Good boy. Perfect. We do a lot with a small staff and... Um, it's, it's an important part and extension of the police department.